This study found that pregnant women with preeclampsia who consumed high levels of salt and low levels of potassium had a higher risk of maternal and neonatal morbidity compared to those who consumed low levels of salt and high levels of potassium. The study used 24-hour urinary sodium and potassium excretion to calculate the ratio of U, Na+, 4-K+, which was then divided into three turtiles. The results showed that the mean SBP and DBP levels were significantly lower in the low NAK group compared with the medium or high NAK groups, and serum creatinine was also significantly lower in the low NAK group than the high NAK group. Additionally, the frequency of severe preeclampsia was lower in the low NAK group than the medium or high NAK groups, and birth weight and gestational age at birth were higher in the low NAK group compared with the high NAK group. After adjusting for covariates, SBP and DBP and creatinine levels were independently associated with 24-hour urinary, Na+, forward slash, K+. Overall, these findings suggest that pregnant women with preeclampsia who consume high levels of salt and low levels of potassium may have a higher risk of maternal and neonatal morbidity than those who consume low levels of salt and high levels of potassium. This article was authored by Zara Virol Ilmaz, Elif Akas, Gulne Gensos Manolu Turkman, and others. We are article.tv, links in the description below.